sneaking special day. Today we've got Barters 2011 live DVD, which means it's live from the DVD. For a simple reason, you can't install it. Okay, so this is the captain, and this helps you set up Barters for your user experience. So I'll click on next. Now here we can decide how our clicking behaviour is. Do we want to double click or do we want a single click? You know what? I'm going to go with single. Button on the right hand's good for me. And go to next. Right, here you can choose your KDE theme, and as you can see, there's quite a lot of nice KDE themes here to use. Now remember, Pardis is from Turkey, and it's officially sponsored by the government now. Nice. So there's a few themes that we can use. So you know what? I'm going to use Cherry Blossom. So I'll just click that one. That's that one out of the way. And my icons, they get Oxygen or Milky, their official Pardis ones. So because it's from Turkey, I'll do their official ones. Milky. Milky, milky. Next is the kickoff menu. What do you want it to be like? Right, we've got standard. That's the standard kickoff menu. I'll click on the drawdown. The simple menu, which is back in the day KDE 3, which lots of people will probably like. Okay. And the final one, when I'll scratch my notes, is Lancelot, which is one of their own ones. And it's in development, so you know what? We're going to go with Lancelot. Yes, sorry. So that's that bit out of the way. Next is choose your wallpaper for your experience of Pardis. Now they give you quite a lot to choose from here, which is rather nice of them to do, don't you think? There you go, not, nothing there, can do me a bit there. Oh, I did see one there, but as you can see there's lots to choose from, but I'm going to choose Red Leaf. Nice. Next page, here you can have your icon for your user picture. Now, as it's a live DVD, I wouldn't bloody have one, would I really? So I'll just click next for that. Choose your keyboard layout. It's English Great Britain, of course. That's good enough for me. We'll go down, click next, and we should nearly be all done. Yes, we are. So that tells you what your mouse settings are, what your menu settings are, Lancelot, wallpaper style, and your milky style. Milky, milky. Apply them settings. Just click the button. And we get this come up, and it all should start to do its stuff. And it goes to a page that says, so you can change your system settings and stuff, and this all happens, and the migration tool disappears and comes and goes. And it's all done. So, yeah, it looks rather nice, doesn't it? Especially that background. As you can see, it's a nice new KDE looky. I rather like it actually. Now it's a live DVD. Now why have they done a live DVD? Well, just to show you what it's like. I think in the, the day, it's a pity there's not an installer in it because well, I couldn't find one anyway. A bit of a bummer. You get your four workspaces there. You get your show desktop button, and you get your menu. So this will be milky coming up. Now I don't think it's quite done yet, is it? It needs a little bit of work on it, but hey. They're doing it, so that's nice. So you get all these stuff that you would do in KDE, but in a different way, in the Milky Way. Milky Milky Way, that's funny, I like it. Okay, your web browser is Fire of the Fox 4. So I wait for Firefox to come up. Oh, looks alright, made it bigger. Go over there, it looks nice. It's the standard part of this page, you can download any ISO from here. So that's nice, that's alright. And it's in English, this one. Well, some of it is anyway, okay. There's another page that's open, and I can't read it because it's in Turkish. But it looks really good. It looks like some new stuff they've made for it, so I'll have to check that out at some stage. So yeah, that's all alright. It works alright. Just tells you what Pardis is like if you actually install it. Now I bet once you install it, it's super bleeding fast. Actually, it's not too bad now, so I can't really moan. You get Anaconda console in development, education, miscellaneous, you get the marble desktop globe, okay? You only get the basics from the KDE here. Nothing special. You couldn't use this really on its own, could you? You could just boot up every time and choose everything. It wouldn't be really nice to do with it. But there's plenty here for you to try out if you just want to try it out for an evening, say for a few, two, three hours or something like that. Plenty of games in there. You can't download and install stuff either, and even if you could, you wouldn't be able to keep them, would you? No. But Gimby's there in graphics and all the other K stuff there, like Ocular and K Snapshot and Color Paint, under internet. Aggregator Bigelow. Was that Bigelow? No, Bigelow, Firefox is there, k is there, and Chuk, a up Chuk, for your multi-messaging sort of stuff. Clementine's your music player here, and No Men player, K3B for Berlin, best ever, KDN Live as standard. So like, if you just want to do video editing on a Windows machine, you could do that way, couldn't you? It'd be nice. Office. Well, LibreOffice comes as standard here. So that's nice and good. I likey, 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 look. They've not kept with OpenOffice. They've gone straight to LibreOffice. So I like that quite a bit. That's nice for them. Although, you know, it's not that much different, really, at the end of the day, is it? No, it's not. So I've opened up the writer here. It does what it says on the tin. I'll click on the help. I'm going to tell about LibreOffice, see what version it is. It's 3.3.0. That's not the most current build, but it works and does the job. 
which is what you want to do. I mean, it's ideal to carry in your box just in case you want to use it. So I've got a KD just throw it on somebody else's machine. You're right, wouldn't it, really? So, yeah. But under settings, you get settings and system settings. That's nice. <laughs> yeah, quite logical, really, wouldn't it? Under system, you get K3B again. Dolphin is your file manager, by the way. Console, Kino Info Center, Disk Freeze Utilities. And the utilities you get Arc and Anaconda Tray and K Calc and some other stuff that not, shouldn't really be there. We'll go to the settings manager for the KDE. It looks slightly different. They have done something different here because the icons don't look the same to me. So yeah, maybe that's just me. Maybe it isn't. Maybe it's you. So I'll go to desktop effects. They're not enabled by default because you might be running a crappy machine, mind you. So you can enable them here and just click on the thing. And in theory, once you apply everything, it should be hunky dory. Yeah. So that's okay. We'll discard them because I'm just doing a live I'm going to install it soon as well and see how we go on install machines and we'll start adding stuff. You know what I mean? Your usual widget stuff as it's KDE, you know, usual. What more can I say? But if you'd like to give a nice little Turkish distro a go, this is a nice one to try. It's around about a gig to download, so it's not too bad. And there's Clementine, by the way, the standard music player. It's all right. I like it. It's one of the new ones, so it's got lots of features. Right. On the whole, why they haven't put an installer on here, I don't know. For the, the amount of space it would have took up on the drive, you know, you might as well have installed on a live DVD. It would have helped a lot of people and got more people converting over. But hey, that's just me. I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5 just for the live DVD. Sneaky Linux going out.